Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Scorpios. Scorpio, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Scorpios for their highest and greatest good. And just a friendly reminder, Scorpios, I am available for private readings. I have those links down below if you're interested. All right, let's see. Okay, we've got the Seven of Wands in reverse. Your person, the Three of Cups. They're viewing you as the Ten of Swords in reverse. Their true intentions are to heal things with you or to make you a love offer. And the Knight of Wands, Spirit saying, go for it here. I do feel with the Seven of Wands energy in reverse, um, maybe my Scorpios out there, you're getting a lot of attention, but I'm actually also getting, some of you are feeling a little bit exhausted with the whole dating game and the options that are available to you. This person is already around you in some capacity. You know, either you're already chatting with them online or they're in your, you know, in your friend group, they're in your community. Um, yeah, they could, they could be somebody you work with as well. This person wants a new beginning with you. Some of you, they do want to heal things, but for a lot of you, I just feel like they're just going to make a surprise love offer for you. And with the Knight of Wands, Spirit saying, go for it. And we see the Nine of Pentacles. A lot of my Scorpios, you've been single for a long time. Um, or you've been single for a while, single and looking, maybe sometimes not looking. Um, but I feel like you're in a really good place. And I think this person sees that you have a lot to offer. All right, with the Seven of Wands in reverse, we have the Eight of Wands showing up. Okay, so you may have to read between lines of communication with this person. For a lot of you, they are flirtatious with you or they may say things that make you kind of scratch your head and think like, okay, maybe this person does like me. They're certainly giving you or dropping you clues. And with the Ten of Wands energy in reverse, a lot of my Scorpios, you're healed. I also feel this person's in a pretty healed energy. And I think you're both ready for this. I think you're both ready for this new beginning. With the Three of Cups, again, I feel this person is a lot of fun to be around or you're going to have a lot of fun with them. I'm also seeing with the Three of Cups here that they're probably already around you. Judgment card and we see temperance energy. For some of you, this person has just already made the decision because they're getting so many signs and synchronicities and clues about you and about this relationship. Um, Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio energy here showing up in their energy. So they could be one of those signs or they have those signs in their chart. I think this person, I think they're, they might be a healer themselves or they may be an earth angel. Maybe this person misjudged you or maybe they're just really worried, Scorpio, that you've misjudged them because I feel they haven't fully told you how they felt or maybe they felt like they weren't like sufficiently flirtatious with you or giving you the clues that you need. Um, with the Ten of Swords energy in reverse, this person wants to talk. Some of you, they know you're healing from something like from an ex, maybe something that's happened between you and them. But for most of you, this is a new person. This person sees that you have a lot to offer, Scorpio. Um, they see you as somebody who's very attractive, but they like the way you take care of yourself. They see that you have nice things, that you want nice things, that you work hard towards stability. Um, they also, I'm hearing, they, they see you as very educated. They like, some of you, you're going to really um, have a lot in common when it comes to like health and wellness routines, exercise, going to the gym, um, things like that. Um, yeah, this is going to be a healing connection, but I'm also seeing with the Five of Cups showing up in reverse that they're, they're going to make you an unexpected love offer. This person wants to fight for this and... Yeah, there's going to be movement here. I think they're seeing you differently. Like it is possible they they maybe misjudged you in the beginning, Scorpio, but it's almost like the more they've seen you or the more they've gotten to know you, it's like the more they're falling in love with you. And for others of you, this person, you maybe they feel like you misjudged them and they want to prove that to you. They want to prove to you that you two are compatible. Um, they want you to give them a shot. And with the Knight of, uh, the Knight of Wands here, all right, we see hold yourself in high regard. 
you know, ha make this person work for it, Scorpio, is what I'm hearing. And yeah, there's going to be a major breakthrough. There's going to be a major, major breakthrough. And a lot of my Scorpios, you might still be healing from a painful ending, possibly someone who put you in a third party situation. Spirit's being very clear here, Scorpio. Let that person go. Let that connection go because this, this is beautiful energy here. And the Seven of Cups, some of you, you meet this person online dating, maybe you're already chatting with them or on the apps or what have you. But I'm also seeing here that like this person spends a lot of time fantasizing about you, building castles in the sky, okay? All right, let's see. All right, this person spends a lot of time thinking about how to approach you, how to make you see like their best side. You know, I feel like they're really concerned that maybe you've misjudged them or you haven't seen like who they truly are. They're definitely a little bit of an overthinker, but this person feels they can give you everything that you need, Scorpio. Okay, I like that little bout of confidence there. All right, and Spirit saying you and this person could be really happy together. Just give it time. Take your time getting to know this person. Be lighthearted when you find out how this person really truly feels about you, Scorpio. Feels really good here. All right, let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Scorpios, please. Twin souls. So this very well might be a twin flame connection, a strong soulmate connection. You two mirror each other in a lot of ways. Release ties to past connection. That's what I got with that Empress energy in reverse. Some of you, you're still grieving or you're still healing from a, from a third party situation. I think you've already learned those karmic lessons. It feels like this energy is karmic justice for my dear Scorpios out there. So I, excuse me, love this energy for you. So let's go ahead and see clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Scorpios, please. Pay attention to the red flags. Okay, but I don't think it's red flags with this person. Okay, obviously, you know, trust your intuition. Don't ignore any red flags or don't see just what you want to see, but see what's really in front of you. But I see with this pay attention to the red flags energy, I feel there's something that you might be holding on to, like an ex or a past hurt or disappointment that spirit's saying, you know what, let's let this go. Let's let this go so we can see movement here. All right, this is a true love situation coming towards you, Scorpio, and true love is worth waiting for. So divine timing is at work in your love life. So this person kind of shows up or comes in or confesses their love just at the right time. And spirit saying that give this person a chance that fell out there at the bottom. All right, and we also see here calling in your soulmate. This is what you're manifesting. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations are helping to bring you together. Wow. All right, Scorpios, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Scorpios. Take care.